My name is Kim, and I'm a mom of three kids. My name is Rachel. I've been living with chronic pain and depression. My name is Ben, and I'm a single dad to my amazing six-year-old daughter, Ella. After years of abuse, I knew I finally wanted to leave, but didn't know where to go. Then one day, while I was picking up Ella from school, I got a phone call from one of my neighbors saying the roof caved in and it's a disaster. And now, even getting out of bed feels impossible. I think just how unaware a lot of people are to like these kind of stories that are happening, kind of one of those things where it's like, unless it's right in front of your face and you're looking at it, it it's not on your mind. I immediately thought of my mom. Cause my mom, I was a single parent. A uh, single parent of four kids can be tough. Uh, it is tough, and so I wonder like, what kind of resources were available that she may or may not have known about. I saw a poster at the library and called the Family Crisis Center. They told me I could come anytime and that my kids and I would be able to stay there while I figured out my next steps. The day I packed us up and left was one of the scariest days of my life. We lost everything. You know, Ella asked what we were going to do next, and I honestly didn't have the answer. I know it wasn't my fault or anything, but I still felt like a failure. I felt hopeless. The pain, <laughs> it's caused me to lose so much. Honestly, I kind of feel lost. So I listen to these, and I hear how if they only make the call, there is help on the other side. And many times we're so reluctant to do that because we're embarrassed. And so we think that you shouldn't do it, yet that's the best alternative that you have. I think that, you know, just working with kids and stuff like that, hearing stories that involve children, it's always hard. You just want what's best for them, and I know that that's what parents want too. So it's very empowering, I think, when a, when a parent knows that and can reach out and get help, even though it might be hard sometimes. But the person from 211, you know, they listened. They made me feel reassured that this was going to pass. It started connecting me with community resources to help me get food, clothes, and all the necessities. I'll never forget the people who helped me realize I could still have a beautiful life, even with the challenges I face. I learned a lot about myself while I was in shelter. I learned I had choices and that no matter what decisions I made, my children and I deserve to live free from abuse. I guess because I retired, I just felt there's a need to volunteer. So we do go to the Salvation Army once a month and prepare a meal. And I can recall seeing little kids come up and say, can I have another hot dog? That may be the only food they have. And uh, I think when you see that this community does so much, I, I guess there's always more room to expand. Each person doing a little bit more, caring a little bit more, loving a little bit more, I think drastically will change cities and towns and countries just a little bit.